have a better engine that has uh, it's more powerful and more efficient, and an all-wheel drive system for confident uh, all-weather performance. So our targets are about having it all. Why not have handling and ride comfort? Why not have better MVH and off-road capability? Why not have great acceleration and uh, better tool economy? I mentioned we started with the body. It's, it's incredibly stiff and incredibly strong for all of our performance. 25% improvement in torsional rigidity, 67% stiffer uh, mount rigidity. That's the attachment of the subframes to the body, uh, allowing rigidity for handling and allowing the uh, dampers and the subframe mounts to do their job for isolation. But also lighter. We have extensive use of high strength steel and lightweight materials like aluminum and magnesium to have a significant reduction in weight while still being incredibly strong. What do we get for a weight down? So compared to the outgoing model on the heaviest versions, almost 300 pounds down uh, versus our new heaviest version. And compared to the heaviest competitor, over 800 pounds lighter. We also have a new uh, chassis, as I mentioned. Uh, we are maintaining a front strut suspension, but it has an optimized geometry uh, that really uh, reduces the steering wheel vibration input mitigates torque steer, some torque steer. Uh, we have an amplitude reactive damper that gives you the best balance of handling and ride comfort. And in the rear, a completely new, completely different kind of rear suspension, a multi-link coilover damper layout, uh, which has improved uh, vibration isolation and increased attachment point rigidity, as I mentioned, for the best balance of handling and ride comfort. So from a powertrain standpoint, we are Honda, and we are excellent at powertrains. This is our Earth Dreams technology uh, latest engine. This is all courtesy of Craig Rizzo, my uh, engine uh, guy. You can talk to him about anything with powertrain anytime for the rest of the day. Uh, but just to tell you a little bit about it, it's a 3.5 liter V6 direct injected IVTEC VCM, which means variable cylinder management. It runs on six-cylinder mode or three-cylinder mode uh, when appropriate for better fuel economy. It's paired with two new transmissions, uh, a six-speed transmission, and for the upper grades, a nine-speed transmission. And for the all-wheel drive versions, uh, we have an all-new IVTM uh, all-wheel drive system with torque vectoring capability. So talking a little bit more about the engine, which is the heart of our powertrain. Um, it is more powerful and more efficient. Uh, its peak uh, power numbers are up 30 horsepower to 280. It's up nine foot-pounds of torque, uh, up to 262. And that's uh, more torque, better torque, across the whole RPM range. For the six-speed transmission, it replaces our outgoing five-speed transmission. So it has a lower first gear for performance, a taller top gear uh, for better fuel economy, and evenly spaced gearing for smooth shifting. Again, I mentioned on the upper grades, we have the nine speed transmission. That's paired with our new push button electronic uh, shift interface, steering wheel mounted paddle shifters for quick shifting, and idle stop functionality. For the IVTM4, uh, this is a lighter, but not just lighter. It has 46% faster all-wheel drive response time, 20% uh, better torque capacity, and again, for the first time for us, uh, torque vectoring. But talking a little bit about torque vectoring, not all torque vectoring is the same. Uh, many of our competitors uh, also have torque vectoring, but they do it by braking, so they have an open differential. When they go into a corner and they're steering, the vehicle's not responding the way the steering input is, they apply brake to the inner tire, and that's how they transfer your torque to the out. That robs a little bit of your momentum, robs a little bit of your uh, torque transfer. We have an electronically controlled dual hydraulic clutch system, which transfers <coughs> torque from front to rear, side to side, up to 70% of the torque to the rear, as much as we can to the outside of that tire. We don't lose any of our momentum, momentum or any of our torque. This allows us to get the maximum capability in every situation on snow, on low mu capability, you can get the vehicle to turn really easily, or on high speed. 